Now I want to show you this video because Prestigious Key claims that he has been invited out by Activision. Hi, Buckos, coming at you with an emergency video because check this out. Drop a thumbs up. We're going to get right into the story and I want to play this correct music for the ambiance, okay? Activision confirms that the new Season 2 Reloaded 6v6 map is a map. Nice. We didn't know, right? Totally, totally. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm shaking. Apparently, 6 v 6 map is a map that has been moved up, presumably, from another season. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm, I'm shaking. shaking! I'm shaking! I'm shaking! And essentially, they have confirmed that we're gonna be getting a brand new map. Everybody, just clap it up. We love to see it. Finally, the complaints, they worked out. And I want to show you this video because Prestigious Key claims that he has been invited out by Activision oh, and he has done a meeting and this is what he has to say. Roll today, it. Today, I'd like to talk about a recent call that I had with the team at Infinity Ward in regard to season two. As you would imagine, I was pretty surprised because I'm a 6v6 player. I was not yeah. expecting to be invited to this thing. And that made me more excited because I thought maybe they'd talk a little bit more about 6v6. This call mm. was also a little bit different because there were representatives from Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and Raven Software answering questions about DMZ, Warzone, and multiplayer. But the thing multiplayer? is, this call felt really weird. The vibes were definitely off. It just felt like every little thing we were discussing, they were walking on eggshells. And I guess for good cause because the community yeah. is really upset about the trajectory of Mo Toxic gamers! Modern Warfare 2. So when it finally came to the multiplayer section, which I will say it was the smallest section out of everything that we talked about. Because of course oh, they We know. That, that's pretty usual for Call of Duty, you know? Forget about the multiplayer. All they worked on was that one Warzone 2 map. They took pieces from it, made the multiplayer, then made a DMC from it, then also made some campaign levels from it. We already know. This is nothing usual. And guys, check this out. I gotta show you this, okay? Season 2 update is 60 gigabytes on PC. Bomboka comes off of what like just two remaster maps uh some uh, battle maps here and there that we already have in the game so basically they're cutting sections from the warzone 2 map we already have that in the game why it has to be 60 gigs and 30 gigs on xbox but however apparently the homie ghost of hope is saying that it's 36 for me other people are claiming that for them it was 21 gigs maybe it's something to do with that maybe you don't want to update the campaign multiplayer co-op you simply want to do the the warzone 2 so maybe this is why but he also says this Let's roll it. I'm on DMZ and Warzone 2.0. But, um, you know, they told us about what's here, which, of course, we know is Dome. We know that they added the museum back again. And we know we got two battle maps in the form of the observatory and the airport. But a majority of the multiplayer talk went to ranked play. And I understand why. Ranked play is super packed. They did a really good job with it this year. Boy, we already have the skill based matchmaking. We already have the, the normal public is already ranked play. Why do we need another one, man? If you want to learn more about that, I'll put a video in the description below because I made a video the other day talking about ranked play. It was really, really good to see. <laughs> no, honestly, we need ranked play, but public lobbies don't need skill based matchmaking. Put skill based matchmaking in ranked play. That's what we refreshing want. Refreshing and updated from the Vanguard version. But when it came down to the actual 6v6 conversation, the idea of new maps, what we can expect in the future, there was no conversation about that. Of course. It was very quiet. <laughs> the only thing that they gave us a hint about was season three, which I was very surprised to even hear. What? But it's nice to know at this point that season three will include gunfight. And every single season after will give you a brand new gunfight map. So it's nice to know that gunfight is returning, unfortunately. Stop the cap. We're gonna be getting the next Call of Duty. It has been confirmed by Activision, and also the leaks and rumors are saying that it's gonna be the next uh, game in the Modern Warfare saga. Sledgehammer Games, Sledgehammer My Balls, the, the the guys that made Van Garbage, they are the one working on that game. We're gonna be getting that game in about like nine, ten months from now, and we're gonna start seeing trailers, teasers within like four or five months from now. We're gonna see more leaks, uh, I would assume, like in a month, two months from now, in three months from now. That's when we're probably gonna see a lot more leaks, and that's where you're probably gonna uh, have me making videos. You're gonna see other people making videos sadly it's true we were wrong new teaser just got leaked and trailer got leaked we're gonna be having a whole lot of that in three to four months are we gonna just get like four new maps and four gunfight maps bruh that is for a billion multi-billion dollar company man that is pathetic finally we're getting one new map though you know that's uh Surely we're gonna have to wait wow. till season three but there's gonna be new maps for that and the new maps added wow. every single season for gunfight in particular oh wow now as for the wow. multiplayer information we ended up getting a tweet this morning directly from the folks at call of duty uk it was swiftly deleted i'm sure it's going to come back up at some point but they said here's what to expect season two reloaded will bring us a new core
core 6v6 multiplayer map. And the weird thing is this wasn't told to us when they were telling us about stuff coming in season mm. three, which I find kind of weird. You would think they'd want to say, oh yeah, guys, there is another map coming. Yeah, this is a new map. Maybe they don't even know if this map is going to be coming out or not. Maybe that's why they were Bruh. like, bruh, we're not going to let these YouTubers because if we tell these YouTubers, they're going to make videos. And then if we decide to delay it, cancel it, then they're going to be all up over because you know what I mean? For the mid-season update, we just didn't put that in the roadmap. But with season three, getting access to gunfight and plunder, which is going to open up an entirely new realm of possibility, not only for me, but for a lot of other players who may not necessarily enjoy the standard play in Warzone. Um, that's great. Plus Warzone yep. ranked for those who care for that and want to enjoy that. I, I guess it's it's good updates either way. You Pump the brakes. Now, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. If you're a Call of Duty D-Rider, <laughs> if you're a Call of Duty lover, if you're a Call of Duty D-Rider, you love Call of Duty, I love Call of Duty, I love Call of Duty. I also like Call of Duty. But the Bruh. situation here is that if people didn't speak, if people didn't complain, if people didn't throw their opinions out that we need more than two remaster maps, we need new maps, right? If people didn't say that, they wouldn't have been doing that. The fact that we all talked about it, we all complained about it, this is the entire, this is the only reason they're giving us one new map. Just one new map. This is why they're doing it, guys. If we didn't complain, they wouldn't have been. I'm happy in regard to that. I'm excited in regard to that, but it doesn't change the fact for I'm what's shaking, here I'm now, shaking, what's shaking. here in the moment oh, for season oh, two, shaking. which I still feel is a poor example of what the team at Infinity Ward is capable of doing. We know that they can do better. We've seen them do better before. And I think that it's all about a game of time, but the problem is the pain. Bro, three years. <laughs> How much more time do they need, bro? Is wearing thin in the community. And I yeah. think they know that which is probably why, as a result, we got a little bit of season three information, which I definitely appreciate. One other thing that they mentioned in the tweet that dropped a little bit earlier from Call of Duty UK, and then the original Call of Duty account tweeted it as well. They mentioned that we're gonna be seeing all new modes. I'm assuming that this just means the remaining modes Bruh. from the season two roadmap, unless they're gonna be adding more like prop hunt, which would be a really nice surprise. But overall, I will say, based off of what we've heard and what we're seeing now for the future, things are definitely looking up. This season is going to give us more content than we got last season. I'm pretty sure many of us would just go crazy if it was just museum at the launch and then <laughs> the yeah. Goddess Dome. That wouldn't be acceptable. Man, that is so wild. That is so insane. We're talking about a multi-billion dollar company and the fact that they really pulled out fast run. Honest, guys. <laughs> If nobody complained about this situation, we would have likely had Dome and we would have likely had Museum as a brand new map. And those of you that are just picking up uh, Modern Warfare 2 that, and you do not know what this is. Museum was essentially in the beta, okay? They had it in the game at launch, but due to the copyright reason, uh, in real life DMCA copyright reason, maybe Activision didn't pay the royalties. They didn't give the monies to the actual museum owner in Los Angeles because they actually made this map based on the real life Los Angeles museum location. I think that's actually dope. I love seeing real life locations in games. I, I, it works with a lot of people. So, you know, credit where it's due. But but uh, again, though, you're, you got 3,000 devs. You got three years. You're a multi-billion dollar company. You're you're telling me you couldn't like change a little bit of the design you couldn't give them money so you could have had the rights to put in the game come on now man so they apparently removed the map and now they're putting it back in the game and they're titling it new map Bumblecat. the capacity so the fact that we're getting both of those maps and we're getting two battle maps then in the mid-season update we're going to be getting another map that does make me feel a lot better personally and even though i know this isn't what everybody out there was expecting and what everybody out there wanted to me at least it seems it's one new map. Bruh. It's something for sure, okay? It's something for sure, but it's only one map. Like, I cannot be like, oh my God, I'm shaking, I'm oh, shaking. Oh, I cannot I'm shaking. be like, this is the beginning shaking. of a change, a better change, specifically Hopefully. for multiplayer. So I'm really hoping into season 2.5 and then eventually season three and then eventually season four, we can get back on Ladies track. Ladies and gentlemen, this also just happened. They are trying to remove Call of Duty and Xbox. Click on this video on the screen. Some of the massive bombshell just dropped or click the video on the left because this situation is related with Andrew Tate. Apparently they kept, they framed Andrew Tate. Some of the massive bombshell just dropped. Check these videos out, guys. They don't want you seeing that. And I will see you right there.